So leaving Tacloban, place is pretty much a zoo. I don't think it really, I don't know. I haven't been to a whole lot of provincial towns, but with all the damage this place has had, I don't think there's any way it could be one of the nicer ones. So I went to the immigration and uh, <laughs> they didn't have my card. So the other two times I went asking for my card, I guess they either Manila needed to do something or their internet wasn't working so they couldn't do what they needed to do this time. But this time they took more photos of me, more fingerprints of me. So now immigration has my fingerprints. <coughs> and uh, the National Bureau of In Investigation already has those. So whatever. Uh, when you go to a foreign country, you give up your privacy. I guess I'm talking to Americans on that one. All right, guys, here I am at the San Juanico Bridge, going a little faster than normal. Well, yeah, I'm speeding up the video, but uh, I'd never seen this bridge before. First time coming north of Tacloban, and uh, the significance of this, it was built in 1973, and it's the longest bridge in the Philippines. It's about two kilometers long, or about uh, 1.3 miles, and uh, it connects Leyte, the island of Leyte, with the island of Samar. And um, before that time, they had to have a ferry, I think, that went back and forth. So it's part of the, um, the Pan-Philippine Highway that stretches a good part of the Philippines. There's a couple places you have to take a ferry, basically from Manila all the way to the south. But for the most part, this was an integral part of connecting the middle part of that highway. So pretty cool. Um, love to take Chrissy here. I don't think she's ever seen this bridge herself, but it's kind of a major landmark in the area. And I think one of the biggest tourist things to go see in the Tacloban area. I just rode by this place, Dell's Mountain View Resort. The most legit place I saw. <laughs> see, see when the last time they had a customer was. Wow, nice place. What's that? What can I do for you for this morning? I need to know if I'm. This is a nice little place. Yeah. Um, I want to know if I'm on the right way. Uh, where are you going? Am, like here? What's that? What's the name for that? I don't know. Just uh, like I was gonna California go down to the tip. Island. Yeah. Let me see, sir. Is the, am I on the right road to there? G1. Yeah. It's G1. Is, is this the right road? Yeah. Yes, sir. It is? It's the right road. Okay. What? Yes, po. Adiman, Adiman. That part is far away from here. It's G1 port. It's yeah. Here. You're still in Basay Samar. Yeah, how? How long? Like two, three hours? Okay, that's fine. Do you have any sunscreen? 
can I can buy? Sunscreen? Yeah. Protection? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Do you have any cold water too? Yes, sir, we have. No, oh, we amazing. Have if I wasn't just starting, I'd probably jump in your pool right now, but... Oh, yes. You, yeah. you come back there on Sunday, because Sunday we have a live band. Oh, yeah? Do you love music? Of course. Yeah. Nice little, nice little area here. Yeah, the big, the big one, please. Yeah. Yeah, big one. If you have sunscreen, that'd be awesome. You have little packets? Yeah. Oh, little packets. Yeah, the little one. I'll take three. Three. Yeah. Okay. Okay, how much do I owe you? Times three. One twenty B plus fifty. One seventy, sir. One seventy. One hundred. 20. Are you alone, sir? I am alone. Uh, what are you going to do there in that place? Just relax, see the ocean. Uh, okay. Get out of town. Okay, it's okay, sir. Oh my gosh. Come back, sir, Sunday. Perfect. All right, bye. funny when you come to the Philippines it's like the first question want to know if you're alone <laughs> like why like why there must be something wrong with you there must be something wrong with you if you're alone which uh maybe that's true but she was telling me about uh wish I had the, the camera when I was going through the areas. Down the road, there's a lot of housing places. Maybe if we hit one, I can stop by. But all these like kind of communal housing. And it was built because of uh, <clears throat> Hur Hurricane Yolanda or Typhoon Yolanda. So I finally got an update. Right here, and I need to go to Marboot. Marboot. Wow, this looks freaking epic. Oh, unbelievable. Stretch my legs here for a second. <laughs> well, it didn't take long to get out of that city to see some real beauty, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Before I get run over on this bridge. Looks like there's a looks like there's a sign up here. E log sites?
Looks like somebody's family hanging outside or something. Kind of cool. No one around. Too bad there's a bunch of trash. But check this out. Pretty sweet. That's a little place to relax. See, this is the land that's got to be like cheaper, way cheaper than where we're at. I think I'm, I think I'm starting to realize like I do live in kind of a populated area as far as beaches and resort towns go. Like it's actually pretty desirable. It's taken me kind of some time to understand that about our area. Not that this isn't desirable, but you don't have dive resorts here. You don't have, it's just like a little fishing village. So where I came from, it's like there's a ship coming out of, you can see the buildings right just to the left of that tree. If you weren't with the fish eye view. Um, and uh, that's where that's talk a little bit more started today. So I'm not, I don't really have a plan. I'm just trying to make it to the Pacific Ocean, the more raw side, and uh, see what we see on our way there. Well, I don't know much about this area, but I figure I'll stop by the tourism information office here in Samar and see what they can tell me about the area. Locked. Nobody in there. Well, wow. There's actually more going on here than I thought. Gosh, it's only ten. I know guys, it's not a whole lot of cool interactions with people, but look at this place, unbelievable. <sighs> I'd say about half the people care about wearing masks, half the people don't. People are like shocked to see a white dude with a GoPro sticking off his head. But I think also they're wondering like, you know, maybe did I break down or something? Gosh, look at that. This is, reminds me of that little river in Shargau. Just nobody knows about it. It's not in any guidebook that I know about. I had no idea this was gonna be this beautiful around here. Let's do a... Uh, I'm going so slow, man. I've stopped it so many times. I've, I've, I'm like not even a fourth of the way. <clears throat> At this rate, I might need to rethink my evening, uh, my evening plans. Hello. Is there food, sir? What, sir? 
Is there food? Fruit. Food. Food. There's here? Food. Can I eat here? Yes. Okay, perfect. Awesome, thank you. Pinalangaga. Oh yes, what do you need to know? There's a name and address and cell phone number. You have a spacer or health certificate? A what pass? Health certificate, sir. Yeah. See it? I have a QR code for Tacloban. Uh, you have a QR code? For Tacloban. Is that... Well, I mean, what do you want? I mean, I just have this. Yes. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. Home pass. Okay. See you. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you. There is so much construction going on. Can I eat outside? Oh, okay, no problem, sir. Perfect. Do you have a cold water? Yes. Nice. What is it, sir? Too big. Too big? One? Big, yeah. Oh, yes. And a menu. Menu, please. It's freaking hot as balls. It's a really beautiful little stop area to get something to eat and kind of cool off which is what I really needed to do. But sometimes these places have a hard time keeping fresh food because they don't have really too many customers coming in. And uh, I think this place is pretty new, so I think they're trying to figure it out. So I'll check back in with them and hopefully have a more expanded menu in the future. So 315 pesos, it's quite a bit of food. Kind of hard to find the chicken in there. It's kind of standard for out in the province though. Oh well, I was only moderately hungry. But I'll find some kids to give that to. <clears throat> yeah, just one is fine Thank you, for you, yeah. No problem. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you. Oh, I want to be in your vlog. Hey, hello. Good hello, hello. I want to be in your vlog. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so freaking funny. <clears throat> Love that stuff. Alright. Here we go. So I'm starting my way to the tip. Just the tip over there. Of, of Samara as it goes to the very south. 
looks like there's some uh, urchin divers probably. And uh, for the very first time, and that water, it's the water is totally different here than it is inland. It's really starting to pick up kind of that water color that we get around my area. But uh, finally starting to see a little bit of wave movement. You don't see that big wave movement where we are. Beautiful stretch of road. Oh geez. Here we go. Yes, pass. Yeah. I gotta get one. Oh, okay, I gotta, I gotta download one. Okay, thank you. It's a nice hide site you got there. Hello. What's up? Oh. Google, you have to find this. It's just past the page. You guys make this so hard. Every every place I go to, I have to get another pa pass for every every That's LG it. every LGU is a different pass. Yeah. It's so hard. It's hard to travel. Really. Every everywhere I go, I have to do this. Every place, every different place, different place, different place. Oh. Southern Leyte. Southern Leyte. Yeah, I yeah. thought I would travel up here. You're going to? I was just going to go to the Pacific Ocean. The Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Where in? Where in like down at the tip, whatever it's called. Oh, the B1 or the Homon Hon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's um, make some S pass. Trade an account, sir. And we're going to put the phone number there without the zero at the beginning, sir. Okay. Everywhere I go, I need a new one of these. Yes, sir. It's it's like crazy. <laughs> yes, sir. That's the protocol here. Why can't you use what the airports use? It's trays. Yeah, why can't you use just trays? Trays, sir. It's only for the airplanes. Um, for the travelers who go to um, visit some other places using um, using planes. Okay. Uh, as for Do you mind if I This one? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Uh, where are you from, sir? Where are you from? Uh, USA. No, no, here in the Philippines, sir. Southern Leyte. Southern Leyte. Yeah. Padre Burgos. Padre Burgos, Southern Leyte. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, so I give out some personal information here, but anyway, everywhere I go when I get to one of these checkpoints, I've got to read them my life story again. 
and it just gets frustrating. It's it, you know, you want to go back to how things used to be, and it's just not like that. And chasing down the different regulations, the different QR codes, the different restrictions, it's all really frustrating, especially when you're already on the road. All right. So just a recap on that experience. Much better than I initially kind of freaked out over. Came a long way to get kicked so close to get not allowed into this area. And rules are always changing, but you'll never know. But everyone in there really squared away. Got through in three, three or four minutes. They got me my uh, QR code. Really nice people. So shout out to those guys. And they're stoked that I'm trying to show the beauty of their uh, area. All right, guys. Thanks for making it this far to the end of the video. Sorry about the wind noise. Still learning how to do all this stuff on the motorbike, but hopefully it gives you a real world point of view of what it's like going through these areas, going through these checkpoints, and um, give you a look at the map of kind of what we covered today and what it looks like. And if you pay attention to the blue dot, that's a little hint on where I am now.